Hi there, signs of Capricorn. Wow. So I am Kim. I'm here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. I asked Spirit to kind of give me a song like before your reading. So maybe we could get a clue about what this is going to be about. <laughs> and, and I got Crave You. Um, <laughs> it, like the remix song of Crave You. It says, uh, do you want me like the other boys do? They stare at me while I stare at you. I walk into the room dripping in gold, dripping and <laughs> dripping in gold. Oh man. So don't know, don't know, but it might have something to do with that. Something kind of yummy for you, or maybe you're looking yummy to somebody else. Maybe that's what this is about. But anyways, to get started, how I like to start my readings here lately because it's really been working is if you could get connected with me and visualize this divine white light that goes through your chakras up. It connects you to spirit, but it also is going to ground you. It's going to go down too. And I visualize the same thing. We meet on that unified field of love. It is for messages for love, peace, serenity, all that good stuff from your spirit team, your angels. And if you could do that, I have done that on my part, <laughs> and we'll get started then. Whew. Wow, so exciting messages here, probably, for Capricorn. I'm using Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, by the way, and my little tiny tarot, which I probably should give a little shake. put lotion on so <laughs> everything's like slippery right now oh well poor cards this cards really get it messages for capricorns wow right okay see what did i say about passion desire need that light up need to get a little bit lighter hang on one second better a little bit all right so that's the king of wands this is a very um <laughs> that this is a very inspirational figure because they are the master builder they build things uh if this is a person they're wanting to build a relationship with you and they're very uh this is passion very passionate very um goal driven and inspiring I have a lot of fiery, fiery energy here. Wanting to build something with you. Wanting to build something. There's wealth. There's attraction. There's everything with that. Wanting to work. See? Wanting to work with you. Wanting to collaborate. Wanting passionate new beginning. Really wanting to collaborate. So getting together and pulling this together is the, is essentially the challenge. Coming together with you. Hmm. So, no, I don't know if you know this person or not. About to get some messages, though, coming in. I have the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. That's a lot of messages. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of messages. What is that? Sorry, I let my window, <laughs> I let my uh, door open for a little while. Now I've got insects in here. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. The fresh air was worth it. What is the heart of the matter? King of Swords. And, and get out of here. And Justice. This is a together two swords, meaning there's a big decision that you're going to have to make. This is about your truth. Living in your truth. Libra energy in general could be about like partnerships, marriage, relationships. It can be about that. The King of Swords is like, no, I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. Like that song. If I, if I want it, I got it. Because you know so much. This is a really, the heart of the matter is very, There, there's a lot of passion here. There might be, there might be multiple people here. They're masters. These are masters that are uh, attracted to you or this is you. 
if this is you, then wow, your archetype is, and I got a hit to my crown chakra there, and I said that, so it might be you. This king of swords has a lot of information. They're kind of like an expert in whatever it is that they do, but in all areas of life, like they're going to use discipline, order, uh, there's an order, <laughs> there's a certain way to do something. It's stern, but it's logical, it's fair. Stern, logical, and fair. Give us more information on this King of Wands, please. Oh, okay, the Emperor, the Emperor. Look at these big energies. These are big boss energies, aren't they? The Emperor. Wow, over all the kings in the tarot, over all the kings has a, a war strategy because they know they know what to do and this discipline uh, energy with the heart of the matter wow is coming in this is a solid offer again i'm getting that energy of really wanting to work with you wanting to invest with you build with you something solid something stable it's success Okay, so why the challenge about getting together? It might be about communicate. Oh, three, three. This is this is coming across as sharing some kind of knowledge with you. Sharing knowledge, sharing some secret knowledge with you. Once you have all the information, it's the past energy here, the nine of swords. That could be depression, anxiety, worry, helplessness. I mean, it's, it's thoughts, ultimately, because it's swords. So, it is thoughts. It's um, maybe overthinking, but very, it's kind of like, it's stress or anxiety. It's also the challenge. Okay, so sharing some kind of knowledge is going to bring solution to this past problem. Or this past situation where you've been worried because it seems like there's nothing really that you could do. Hmm. This energy is very stoic. Hmm. It's like protecting oneself. What's the goal or destiny spot? What's the goal or destiny spot? The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. What about this Knight of Wands? What is it in the reverse? It might be, it may be a little bit difficult to focus if, if we're like the wounded soldier, if we're exhausted. You know how if you... If you work a whole lot or you do a whole lot and, and and then you have to do something where you have to try to concentrate or focus and there may be something there may be something with heavy emotions as to with the four of cups clarifying it as being like withdrawn and in a way this is some kind of dissatisfaction that even though you haven't given up on yourself even though you're persistent and you still stand up for, you know, what you stand up for, there could be some kind of, like, withdrawal from your current scene that that leaves you feeling a little not focused or having, or trouble focusing. Something needs to change, though, is what I'm getting. Something needs to change. I don't think there's resistance to it. I also see somebody with their head down when there's an ace of cups trying to come at you. And so if you're not, if, if you're in that frame of mind, you might be waiting for a seize the day opportunity. You may be waiting for example, a stock to get low enough before you're like, yep, now's the time to buy. You know what I mean? Like, so there might be something that, yes, you do want, but you're going to be logical about how and when you get it. What was that? Okay. 
Okay, back. So, yeah. So, this might be about, a, like, a seize the day, waiting for this moment, opportunity. Tell me about the future, please. Six of cups in the reverse. Is it about wanting to go in a different direction? Especially when it comes to a soulmate or partnership here. Four of, one, four of Swords, sideways, working a whole lot, but not wanting to think about a situation that either you're calling in a soulmate energy or this is literally parting ways. Uh, might be parting, <laughs> right as I said that, the Six of Wands comes out. Six, six. Taking a time, so, oh, family connections, soul family connections need to heal there's a because there's a disconnect four four there's a disconnect there's a disconnect how are you feeling though victorious victorious um carrying your reef getting recognized doing a very good job In the environment, the um, strength card and the reverse. You're so bored or over with a situation or a connection. Uh, you don't have much confidence or you have lost confidence in somebody in the, either in the environment or that's in your energy in, in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you don't even have communication with this person. Tell me more about strength card. Death closure trans transitioning out of one so hmm transformation closing of a chapter you're feeling victorious what's the hope or fear Ooh. the death card twice ending closure it's like what we're hoping for because there's a dawn and something that you're exhausted about kind of needs to end or have a closing to a chapter what's the outcome looking like here the knight of pentacle then uh, landing on that victory card if you notice that and the page of swords ace of swords reversed on the bottom because there's some kind of it feels like an idea or something that hasn't that is going to come to you this is extremely good. This is, again, two, two Knight of Pentacles side by side because it's um, it, it's success. Uh, it's slow, but it's steady success. And it may be delayed success. It even might be something that you had lost confidence in like a while back. It might be something you had, lo had lost confidence in. But... But it's going to turn out pretty good, whether you know that or not. Page of Swords. It's information. It's observing. It's learning. It's a connection. There's a change, an ending to a connection, bringing about something better, something more stable. It's, yeah, yeah, it could be a new partnership. We have two of cups right there. Hmm, what else? Oh, a strength card. <laughs> a strength card. Oh, Spirit, you're going to have to give us lots more information. I can't just leave it like, oh, there you go. There's an offer. No, we're going to kip our deck it. We're going to use the Kipper deck and we're going to use the Siren Song, which is a combination of the Kipper and the Lenormand style decks. So we can really see what is this about. The ending may be an ending to um, a disconnect that had to be healed and it's like time for it to be healed. Unexpected income, 27. 
and and perhaps it is a money issue for some as as to like when i see the nine of swords this person's worried about a lot of things not just one thing there's a lot of things they're kind of stacking on each other this would just be like okay well that's the straw that broke the camel's back like that's that's the energy so something comes in and really gives you some relief 27 unexpected income What about these two kings well and the emperor goodness with this type of strategy whatever this is you can't lose you couldn't lose change change and it's specific to say change don't forget to mention it definitely has to do with your pentacles and with an energy that had been taking quite a while to come in or to be dependable for you it is changing that is changing there can be a move or wow great fortune there can be a move something significant about that you see the car with all of the uh, you know stuff <laughs> furniture look at furniture inside it suitcases pack your suitcase there's great fortune coming in Yeah, I mean, this is a good, stable thing because these knights, they're very, they're the most uh, grounded ones in the, in the tarot. They're the most, like, this, these people, this energy you can really count on. Hmm. Imprisonment imprisonment like the this is kind of like the eight of swords energy where you're in your head in your head like this nine of swords in your head or because I, I i really felt like the death card is an ending to depression or dark night of the soul give me a tarot for uh imprisonment please the nine of the nine of pentacle has to do with freeing yourself or an energy healing a connection within all soul family because of newfound independence freedom self-reliance financial security 9999 nine, nine, so what about the cooperation what about the challenge coming together the cooperation you're expecting something is not what you're expecting there's bigger victory here than you know there's a bigger victory here than you know there's some there's some kind of big transformation transition a situation that you thought you were kind of locked in is changing this is huge financially that's a really huge thing and and like i said it's very much so tied to also the ending of a chapter and the healing of some like soul family connections where there was or still is disconnect there will be a regain regaining in confidence regaining your confidence in somebody maybe yourself you know but there's something that's gonna like unlock things it does have to do with really great financial success so who is this official person 22 it sometimes i see this as being like the emperor meaning this is somebody who is powerful who has um specialties the stuff that they're really good at they're known for it world renown that's kind of big but okay it could be it could be being known for being world renowned in something or somebody that's just i mean wow they've done really good look at all the medals this could be somebody that's really high in the spiritual realm too they know their stuff this can be you this can be you Oof. so there may be something with health too or I, I think it's related to finances getting better with that the way that it came out but we'll keep keep going and <laughs> the gift Wow. Wow. 
more than an ace of pentacles that gift is very very big that is a big gift it's not like one pentacle being handed to you this person is using both hands to give you this and it has to do with this big financial windfall wow Courtship, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. What do I say? Do you want me like the other boy too? I start you on a false person. Somebody's a false person. All right, courtship, getting to know you, and then we have the wealthy man. May may uh, be this official person possibly too very smart person determined does things the worry there is structure here and there is help and assistance that will possibly make other people jealous or envious here with the bear the polar bear Ooh. who's the snake of course there's got to be a snake right competition somebody competing with you but trying to cause or say harmful things in order to hurt you this could also be negative self-talk who is the snake who is the snake it could be an energy that's trying if this person is the one trying that is wanting to court you or come together and get to know you there could be a snake in the grass that literally is trying to cause issues but especially communication to not allow that to happen but it's not gonna it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna it may delay something because there's we do see delay offer but the offer is solid and it's definitely here and come or coming you know who's the snake or what's the snake about the long road having to deal with this for a long time. Not just one hater here. Hmm. Oof. Taking from you, the mice. Taking from you, little by little. Taking from you. Wanting to see uh, you trapped, I'll be honest. Wanting to see you trapped. Wanting to see you not as fruitful as you're going to be, if you're not there yet, that you're going to be, mm, you're really going to watch about a certain friend or ally. I'm, I'm getting the feeling about that. Tell me more about this mice, the sun. The sun is uh, illuminating who is just taking from you, even if it's like little by little, and who is saying things intentionally to steer you away like you're having wise discernment it's being lit up for you like this is trying to come in this is the sun trying to shine after an ending and you'll have to see past this deception you'll have to be smart about watching finances and and the things that you shouldn't have to worry about here if these people weren't in the way you know what i mean Okay, I have man, 29, it could be a masculine energy. All right, well, tell me, it, this has been a long road, right? Well, tell me about the connections. About the connections. Prison. Excuse me, guys, that was a burp, and that, that was coffee burp, a coffee burp. Another person with the connections? I hope you don't have too many connections in prison, but, you know, I'm just kidding. Okay, so the prison the prison card is, um, when I'm saying, what about your connections, and I get the prison card, I'm thinking, there's not many at this time. I'm thinking there's an energy that feels rather controlling. And that has possibly even kept you from connections. That's what I'm getting. 
Why, though? Why? Because you're doing so well in your occupation or something like that. Something with your occupation is about to really take off. And you're literally on the, in, in the mind of lots of people. Somebody in specific here with the 16, the thoughts card. Also, you did have two sixes. I see you're feeling really good and victorious with the six of ones. But you also need to be aware of the uh, negative thinking that can manifest things for us that we're not wanting. Ooh. A message. Male interference. Have to watch out for that. Main female. You know what? I'm going to turn to this other tarot now. I think the tarot of oppositions might help us. Because I'm going to go back. The, these energies could be taking things. And that's why if I see the message card in the reverse and you also have the mice, I'm like, watch out for stuff being taken. Of course, we always have to watch out. But give me uh, something for the boredom or discontent about what's not changing. The four of wands. Don't worry about it, they're saying. Don't worry about it. You have the, oh, wow, you have the king of pentacle. You have, this is the master, the CEO, the boss, the a person that really wants to, I would say, invest or commit. Commit because it's, it's the committed card or wants to be committed in something committed with you. And the four of wands, the celebration of being in participation, doing something together that you want. Who you're going to pledge your allegiance to. This energy wants to pledge it to you. Do you know this energy? Do, do they even know this energy? Whoa. Okay. New. Brand new. Ace of Cups. It did fly over here towards the 27 extra income. It's a possibility that you might know this energy, but maybe just like know of because it's the Ace of Cups, so it's new. It's new. Something, some time for you to see see something clearly. With the seven of cups, why wow, you have a wish, a wish fulfillment, and your six of ones. So seven of cups being in the reverse is like having a clear mind, and yeah, I've been able to see like where having discernment, where things were trying to trick you or keep you clouded. Or keep you in feeling like you were in prison. Your own limiting beliefs or negative self-talk talk, perhaps. Hi, man. Sorry, it's the sun. Bringing in something new. Okay. Again, with the energy of feeling, just look at this. Feeling exhausted. And it being a little hard to open up to a fresh new start. Because of what you've experience in the past with these energies that just want to trap and bind and control versus empower invest and grow nine of wands persistence again with the nine of wands even though we may be Exhausted. It's never giving up. So what about the jealousy or envy here with this bear and the... Okay. <laughs> Time to rest. Four of swords, four of swords. Time to rest. Time to take it. Time to take time out and deliberate. Lots of fours. Hmm, taking a break from some obstacles or distractions might be good. There seems to be some arguing around. Taking time out of the, the conflict is going to be important for your health. So much competing. Another Ace of Swords. 
Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, which looks like a card that's saying, please do invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. There's some kind of idea or something like that that's going to come to you when you're very relaxed and recharged. There's a need to recharge. The Six of Pentacles is touching this change card. I think it has definitely something to do with things because, like, if somebody owes you, especially if somebody owes you money or whatever it is, time, like, it will be paid back. Also, it's part of the change with the things balancing out for you. What else about these aces? Goodness. Oh, okay. Three of Swords. Okay, I said that. God. Is something else three of swords ace of pentacle upright after a loss after a disappointment after you have healed this and this heartache or breakup and put it in the past whatever loss that was putting it in the past investing yourself it's going to bring the reciprocity that you're wanting the, the scales that are balanced there's a lot of gift giving here too there's the ace of pentacle the gift the extra income wow Oh, and we have a rebirth. Ten of Swords reverse. We have a rebirth. You almost have all of the aces out here, if you've noticed this. And this means an area in your life that you thought was, like, completely gone or frozen or absolutely betrayed, not getting over that long time. No, this is this is thawing out. And this is, this is you anew. Nine of Pentacles, again, another Nine of Pentacles. This is a financial gain, a windfall, a winning, and it has something to do with freeing yourself. It is a rebirth, and it's bringing back to health your finances. Nine of Pentacles. Wealth. Wealth. Ten of Wands, when you put in the most, like you put in your effort, you're going to get a wonderful completion. Put in that effort, Ten of Wands. You carried so much uh, for others, and you're still. And honestly, what how what you've carried has made you physically and mentally fit and strong. You're about to have a joyous completion regarding something that you have put a lot of time, effort, and action into. It made you stronger. Your journey made you a lot stronger. Queen of Cups. Fill up your own cup now. Time to love yourself the way you would want to be loved. The Hermit and the Emperor. The Hermit reverse, though, it kind of reminds me of a person that's... Well, this energy is a little different, okay? This person needs some rest and to find their light, okay? But in my other... With the other cards, if I see a Hermit reverse, I feel like it's somebody you're going to meet on your path. Who has that same tenacity that you do for putting in your all. And it's like an emperor energy. So it is an official person. It's this person. It's this person. They're the, per they're the person with the plan. The man with the plan. Another four. Four cups. And a four of pentacle on the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be hard to let go of some things that we're attached to, but um, but we must to to really uh, look look up and embrace this Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful reading, guys. I'm going to stop there. If you want a private reading, then just check out the description box and you can get one. Otherwise... Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you liked it. Here's your Oracle of Genetic Gifts I'm going to pull for your closing energies. Clear sentience, a clear feeling. Star attunements for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension, and life missions. I also have clear alliance with clear smelling. And number nine <laughs> seems to be a running theme. In your reading, number nine, a clear feel. Oh, not a clear feeling. Good. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Let me start this over. Life path number nine, which by the way is my life path. So the peacemaker, ruling planet Mars. I also have life path number three on the bottom of that. 
saying the communicator ruling planet Jupiter. Expansion or expansion is indicated with communication and travel for you. And your nines has a lot of um, big endings here leading to really great uh, harvest and things coming to fruition. Ten of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. Four, four, four. Oh, who wouldn't have guessed? <laughs> trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds. And trust your need that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. And then we have seven of them. 28, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable, compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievements. 28, I am a leader. I also have 77. It is time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. 77, I am brave. 18, you are both open-minded and open-hearted. Your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and the highest good of all, I am kind-hearted. Number 18 is what I've got for you, Capricorn. Sending you much love. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.